I know that some of you are so very leery of wearing color. I am here to help you dip your toe into color. Hi YouTube family, we are going to be doing a very, very simple eye look with just a pop of green on the liner down there below, kind of a little bit up in the side, just a little bit. It's so simple, but it's a great way to be able to explore if you've been thinking about wanting to do color without going completely full-blown color all over your eye. I will probably at some point be doing a smoky all over my eye green, but I thought this is a great way to show you how you can go ahead and just use a little bit. So I chose the Dream Street palette from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights and the Just My Luck palette. And both of these are from ColourPop and I will show you the Just My Luck. These are the little nine pan palettes that have a color theme in them. And we're gonna be working with just two colors in there. And then we're going to be working with just three colors here in the Dream Street palette. So when you see me next, I'm going to have one eye done, when I not. I apologize because the sound is just a tiny bit tinny on the rest of the video. Um, yeah, I'm working out all kinds of kinks. You guys are great for sticking with me at, while I do all of this. I'm kind of learning as I go along. I have a new setup, so. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Let's get into this tutorial right now. Okay, one eye is done. I'm gonna start out with the makeup tape that I always use, and I'm going to be putting it a quarter inch away or an eighth of an inch away from the bottom lash line to the tail end of the eyebrow. I've already primed my eye with my uh, eyeshadow primer. You can use whichever you want. I use Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer and it works really good for me. Starting with the Dream Street palette, and I'm going to be using this color right here, which is quite a peachy color to start with. And so I'm using a Morphe M441 and loading that brush up, tapping off the excess. We're just going just above the crease, and this is our transition color. Remember, no windshield wiper most motions. You can just kind of stipple. Kind of a technique where you're kind of laying it down in a certain spot and then pushing it in. So I hope that helps a little bit. And then what I'm doing is I'm following the crease all the way over and the fluffy brush is above the crease completely. But the bottom of it gets to follow the crease in order to make that arch. Sometimes when I get into the doing these, I can find that I will open my eyes and I won't see any transition color and I just want that to be there very defined because if you don't, then all you're gonna see is whatever's on the lid and down in the crease and that can make your eyes look kind of um, darker than they really need to be when you have hooded eyes. So we are trying to build up that color and follow the arch of the eyebrow. And then out here on the end, as always, I'm pulling it just a little bit further out towards the tail. We're just building that up until I look at it straight on and I see that it, it looks even on both sides. The second color I'm going to use is this deep brown right here from the Dream Street palette. And I am barely going to be touching both sides in the shadow because I don't want this to get built up too quick, too fast. And we're gonna push all of the color that's on that brush right into the corner of the eyelid. And we're just gonna kind of build it up just slightly towards the transition color. And when there's hardly any color left on your brush, then I want you to just use that brush to push over towards the inner corner of the eye in the crease. I'm dipping into the color again and I'm tapping it off and I'm just deepening right there on that outer corner of the eyelid. Then I'm gonna take that fluffy brush that I had before and I'm just going to blend, 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 blend. <laughs> All right, at this point I'm gonna go in with this silver color right here in the corner and I'm going to put that on my finger. You guys have seen me do this before. I'm gonna build that up on my finger. I'm going to take some setting spray and yes, this does have alcohol in it. The reason that I use a setting spray for this with alcohol in it, it dries that shadow down, makes it just cling to the eyelid instead of transferring all over, which is what I used to get all the time. So I'm just spraying it lightly. I'm not putting a ton on there to make it super wet. And again, as usual, I'm just going from lash line up to the crease. And I find that because my hands shake, 
that it's easier for me to just kind of dot it on there instead of just swiping it once. If you guys don't have shaky hands, bless you, but uh, I have to do it this way. I always put a shimmer color on my lid to bring brightness there. Because when you do have hooded eyes, when you open your eyes like I'm opening them right now, you can see that little bit of color right there, that little bit of brightness right there. That's why I love to put a metallic color there or a super light matte color right there. Just really build it up and um, that's what the eye is drawn to and it kind of pulls that eye open. Okay, I'm gonna go back with the flat shader brush and I'm going to shade that corner color in with this lid color. And we're just going to make it very seamless there. And I'm just bringing it up a little bit now towards the tail with that same shader brush and just a tiny bit over. Now I'm gonna go back in with the original brush and I'm going to blend everything together. This really makes your look seamless when you, at the very end, just blend as much as you can. And then I'm gonna take off the tape. A lot of people have asked me, does that take off your makeup? Sometimes it does. Um, and I'll go back in and I'll either tap around or I'll get my Dampen Beauty Blender and I'll go back in and fix it. But right now it looks okay. So now I am going in with the nude color in my rim because I don't want this to get smoldering or smoky or anything like that. We're just dipping our toe into color. So if I was gonna go for like bright green or something, I might put a green into the waterline. But right now I'm just gonna put a nude in there. And I wanna tell you guys, this is a really good pencil for this. This is the Rimmel Scandalize, the 24 hour pencil. I have never found anything that stuck as good as this. So I put a coat on, just let it set for a second, and then I'll go back in and I'll put a second coat on, which really seems to help build that up and kind of seal it in a little bit. Okay, so now for that little pop of green that you see there, I'm gonna take just a very small shader brush and I'm going to go into the green color that's right here. It's the darkest green in this palette and I'm gonna load that up and then I'm gonna take my spray and I'm gonna spray that brush. Gives it a little bit extra, little bit extra hold on the bottom as you're doing that. And then just stick right out there on the outer corner of the eye and you're just pushing it across. And you should be able to feel that your brush is a little bit wet. That's good because then it helps us keep the shadow on. So I wanted to start with the dark color so it kind of blended into out here. So take that dark color and just kind of push it around in the corner a little bit, pull it up a little bit if you want to towards the tail of the eyebrow and up towards that little outer corner right here on the eyelid. And next I'm gonna go into this green right here and I'm gonna load my brush. It's kind of a shimmery green or a metallic green, but it's a lot brighter than the last one we were working with. And again, spray your brush. And this time I'm gonna start out on that outer corner and I'm gonna pull it all the way over. If you use a brighter green, then it's gonna give you that look of green. You can actually see the green when you're looking at the eye. So I'm gonna go back into that original lid color with a flat shader brush. Actually, this is more like a, a concealer, tiny concealer brush. And I'm just gonna go right there into that inner corner. And then I'm gonna take just another pencil brush. I think this one's a Sigma, but it's not a stiff pencil brush. So I'm gonna take that brush and I'm gonna go into some setting powder. It's on this puff right here. And I pick that up on that pencil brush and to in, lock in or ensure that all of that eyeshadow doesn't come down my face, I'm gonna go just right below the eyeliner. I just stuttered all the way through that. Sorry, you guys. Okay, and then just look at the, the two, make sure that they are even and when you're looking straight on and then you are done, you're ready for mascara and liner. What I do on my top line is I line it with black as tight as I possibly can to the, to the actual lash line. And then I'm gonna put two coats of mascara. And I did have some people say, why don't you do that on camera? There's two reasons. Um, one is that I take a very long time with that part. It takes me a long time, but I'm going to link a video for you down below in the description and up here in a card. For the so sake of time constraints here today, I'm not going to do my eyeliner or my mascara on camera, but I will be right back after I do that. All right, you guys, that is it. I hope that you do like it. I'm gonna get just a little bit closer and I'll look down. The top is very neutral looking, kind of on the warm side. And then when we dealt with the green, it was all down here. This is a great way 
to dip your toe into color because you don't have to go full-blown color all over. It just can give you just a little bit of that little edgy look just on the bottom. So I really like doing this. This is actually how I got started into color too. Thanks so much for being a part of my day today and sticking around. I love you so much and I will see you all in my very next video. Love you guys. Bye.